Israel purse snatcher is in custody, but the scope of his crimes still in question tonight. Yeah, police think he may have committed other similar crimes, but has not yet been charged with them. We first showed you the surveillance pictures last week as police were still looking for this man. They say he stole a women's purses on the south side and the west side at grocery stores, gas stations, and restaurants. RTV6's Derek Thomas reports. On January 19th, 62-year-old Catherine Salinas' purse was stolen at this Kroger supermarket. She says she couldn't believe it was happening. He just, like I say, just came around and just grabbed it so quick. I mean, you know, he, he's professional. These are pictures taken from surveillance video that morning at the store located at 4200 South East Street. Police have identified the suspect as 35-year-old Hardy Stepp, and apparently he has been busy. He has been charged in at least four such purse snatchings. Most of the victims have been women over 60 years old. Were you stealing purses from old ladies? Hardy shook his head no, but there is evidence to the contrary. In one incident outside Saigon Restaurant located at 4760 West 38th Street, a suspect snatched the purse of 66-year-old Jeanette Olinger and pulled her to the ground. He tried to get the purse of 63-year-old Peggy Shortridge and pulled her to the ground, too, but he couldn't get hers. What do police say about resisting the assailants? That's a personal choice that we all have to make, but I think in 99% in of what we're talking about, when folks cooperate, they are less likely to be injured. And so if they make that decision to engage a suspect, uh, they just have to be sure and know what they're doing. In the Saigon restaurant robbery, the suspect fled in a black Kia. It is a vehicle that was also spotted in the crime at the Kroger. There was also a purse snatching at this Walmart in Beach Grove on December 5th, this Marsh grocery store on January 19th, and this Speedway gas station on January 22nd. Remember Salinas from the Kroger? She had no idea the same person who ripped her off was allegedly committing these other crimes. It really makes you angry because, you know, I'm on a limited budget and, yeah, it's very sad that, you know, that they have, that's the way they, that they, they want it to do, you know, and frighten people. Salinas has not gotten her purse or phone back, but she says she is happy she didn't get injured. Derek Thomas, RTV6.